some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Antonio, Texas with Judge Boyd as she has to deal with a sob tar that, well, just has too much word salad going on. Doesn't understand anything that he is going through and probably doesn't even have two brain cells to rub together. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Mr. Casanova, you want to come forward? <laughs> yes. How are you? Hello, how's it going? Could be better. All right, so my understanding, you want to represent yourself? Well, well, yeah, he is a soft art who has no legal experience whatsoever and uh, really no intelligence to back him up. So, yeah, it's only natural he's going to try to defend himself in a situation that, well, he would need help with his defense. All right, you're more than welcome to represent yourself, but here's the thing. Everybody says that they can be an attorney because all, all attorneys do is talk. That's what people think. But they don't realize there's a lot of knowledge, experience, and wisdom behind that. Well, no shit. So if you want to have a jury trial where you represent yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. But once it's set for trial, it's going to trial and... No one's going to be helping you. The state is not going to say, hey, we see that you really don't know the rules. So let me tell you this rule. They're not going to be doing that. My job is not going to be to help you with objections, help you with motions. That's 100% you. Do you understand? I do. And so are we on the record? No, we're not on the record. What, you want to put something on the record? Oh, yes, definitely. Sure. All right. Court is calling. 2024 CR 2974 State of Texas Vector versus Hector Casanova. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? And are you Hector Casanova? No, uh, for the record, I am the flesh and breathing man. I'm here on a special appearance uh, to uh, clarify any misunderstanding. Uh, I am not the the uh, legal fiction known as Hector J. Casanova that is on the uh, information there. Uh, I just have a few questions to clarify some things. All right, so if you would like to clarify some things, mm -hmm. then the person I need to speak to is the flesh and blood man known as Hector Casanova. Yes, I'm the flesh and blood man, Hector Casanova Jr. Oh! Oh yeah, good one, Judge. You you're playing him like a fiddle. You already know what these uh, soft tards are all about. So yeah, just don't play their game any more than you have to. Yeah, so you definitely got the living man in here, which is the only one you need for this case because that corporate versus living man thing is nothing but a load of soft tard gobbledygook garbage that they love to spew out. So you might as well get that out of the way. All right. All right. So you are Hector Casanova, correct? I am Hector Casanova Jr., the flesh and breathing man. All right. Well, I'm glad you're breathing. So what did you want to place on the record? Uh, well, first, I don't understand the charges that are, are being uh, brought against me. Mm -hmm. um, there are some clarifications I do want to. All right. So just, so just one second. But before we get to that, have you been given a copy of the indictment? No, I have not. All right. So. We're going to get you a copy of the indictment. Just give me a moment. All right, have a seat. We're going to come back on the record with this. All right. Uh, Deputy Lord, do you know um, if he's been served with the indictment yet? I'm not sure. All right, thank you. So we're back on the record in 2024 CR 2974, State Vex versus Hector Casanova. All right, Mr. Casanova, here's the thing. And I want you to hear me clearly, right? I am not your attorney. The document that has been given you is a copy of the indictment. 
you're, I'm not to give you information about your indictment. That's the indictment. That's what we're here for. That's right. So any questions that you would have about that indictment, you're going to have to answer those for yourself. Otherwise, the person who will be telling you about what the indictment means and what the numbers are, that would be an attorney. Do you understand? I do not understand. Oh, oh what that means is, for example, we can go off the record. I'm giving you a hypothetical. All right. Let's say you needed surgery and you're in the middle of the wilderness, you need surgery and you tell me and you tell the doctor, guess what? I'm performing this surgery on my own. I don't need you. I'm walking out of the hospital. I'm going to go in the desert. Now, maybe the doctor would try to uh, stop you and do other things. But if you go in that desert by yourself, don't tell the doctor where you are. You take a scalpel out in the desert by yourself. You don't get to call the doctor and say, hey, I'm in the middle of desert performing surgery. Um, you know, I'm doing I'm going to be my own anesthesiologist. I'm doing all of this. How do you do this? Because they're not going to tell you. It's the same thing here. You're saying that you do not want to be represented by an attorney. You want to represent yourself. So that motion, that uh, indictment. I'm not to tell you anything about what that indictment is. The state is not to tell you, oh, this is what this indictment means. This is the range of punishment. Those are things that you're supposed to do. Do you understand? I still don't understand. All right. So just have a seat. This is what's going to end up happening. You're going to have an attorney. That attorney is going to come over to the court right now. You're going to speak to that attorney. After you speak to that attorney, uh, we're going to go forward. Ms. Ferguson, can you call manage to sign counsel and let them know that we need an attorney over here? And that attorney will talk to you. That attorney will tell you what that indictment means. That attorney will tell you the range of punishment. Do you understand? I still don't understand. All right. Well, I don't know how I can further make you understand. Are we on the record? Yeah. All right. Norma, get someone from manage to sign counsel here, please. All right. Just have a seat and we're going to have an attorney come down. All right. uh, let me, I would like to ask some questions on the record, if I may, while I have your time here. Oh, no. Let me just tell you, you'll have my time till five o'clock because that's how long we're here. What is going to end up happening is an attorney from managed to sign counsel is going to come down. Do you understand? I do not understand because um, uh, I, I would like, I don't feel like I am needing uh, an attorney. Because I'm here to represent myself as the flesh and breathing man, uh, Hector Casanova Jr. Um, let's see. Uh, um, um, all right. So let the record uh, let record of the court show that I, Hector Casanova Jr. Uh, uh, we, they accused just one stop. Yes, sir. All right. We're on the record. So what did you want the record to reflect? So let the record of the court show that I, Hector Casanova Jr., uh, the accused in this criminal action, has asked the court to divulge the nature and cause of the accusation upon the authority of the Sixth Amendment, and that this court has failed in its duty to inform me of the nature and cause of this action. Hey, listen, you gibbering idiot. That was the indictment they gave you earlier. That is the nature of your charges. It explains everything that you need to know. With regards to what you've been charged with, it won't give you any legal uh, knowledge as to how to fight those charges, because that you have to do on your own. And the judge is definitely right with what she said about lawyers and everything that they do, that it may look like that all they do is talk, but there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see. I mean, you have to do your research as a lawyer, researching the laws, trying to uh, come up with arguments to uh, defend a uh, person or try to convict them if you are a prosecutor, you numb nuts. Uh, furthermore, right, let me stop here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Casanova, let me ask you a question. Have you been given a copy of the indictment? Uh, I believe so, yeah. All right, so let the record reflect that Mr. Casanova has been given the copy of the indictment and the copy of the indictment, it tells him what he is charged with. You may continue. Uh, 
Uh, now, uh, these charges, um, are they um, civil? Is this a civil charge or a criminal charge? All right, that is something that if you had an attorney to represent you, they would be able to tell you. What the court, court can tell you is that you are in a felony court and this is a criminal court. Okay. So, uh, this being a criminal, let the record of the court show that the action against me is criminal action. Uh, my following question would be, uh, the Constitution grants this court two types of criminal jurisdiction. Uh, criminal jurisdiction under the common law and criminal ju jurisdiction under the Admiralty or Military Tribunal. Uh, in which of these two jurisdictions does this court intend to try me? Hey, you numb nuts. That's at the federal level. The Constitution is at the federal level at this point. If you want the state level, you've got to go to the state level constitutions to uh, figure this stuff out. And you've got to go to law school to be able to figure out the arguments and everything like that. Now, my little suggestion here might seem a little radical to uh, you Sovtards, but work with me on this. I think what you need is some help. A person who who's hired to... Uh, defend people in a case such as this i think they're called attorneys uh they spend uh, many years in college uh, figuring this stuff out and uh learning their way around the laws so uh, you might want to think about investing your time and effort in dealing with them rather than uh trying to learn it all on your own and failing to do so all right so this is what is going to happen, Mr. Casanova. Someone from Managed Design Council is going to come over and you can speak with them or not speak with them. But the questions that you are asking the court are not, some of them are not in any shape, form, or fashion related to the fact that you're in a criminal district court. Do you understand? I do not understand. Okay. But I don't think you'll be violating your oath of office if you did your duty under the Constitution. I am not seeking legal advice. What I want to know is legal intent. Mm -hmm. I have the right to appear as myself to my own person without a licensed attorney in order to intel uh, intelligently defend myself. I need to know the jurisdiction this court is operating under. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So therefore, will you please answer the question so that way this court is properly identified? All right, you're in the 187 District Court. It's a criminal court. You're on the fourth floor. Thank you. Um, this constitution uh, grants this court two types of criminal jurisdiction. Uh, criminal jurisdiction under the common law, and criminal jurisdiction under Admiralty All right, I'm going to stop counsel. Statute. I'm sorry, Mr. Casanova, uh, in the human flesh. I'm going to stop you right there. What is going to end up happening, I want you to hear me clearly. An attorney is coming over for managed to sign counsel, period. That's it. So have a seat. Managed to sign counsel will come over. Do you understand? Yes I, or no? I do not understand. All right. Do you understand what it means to take a seat? I do understand. All right, so take a seat. Thank you. Well played, Judge. Well played. You knew what he was doing with that I don't understand crap. He's uh, misinterpreting the uh, word understand as to mean that I don't stand under you. So at this point, the judge decides to uh, uh, really dig in uh, with saying, uh, do you understand uh, what it means to sit down? The soft heart, uh, well, just had to uh, uh, relent at using that uh, bit of a uh, word game play with the judge because he had, it would really make him look even dumber if he actually said the same thing that I don't understand. So she forced him to uh, get out of that uh word game uh, play that these soft tards use for at least a few moments. Yes. We have talked. Mm -hmm. I've um, informed him that I'm here, you know, to help him in whatever he needs help with. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to consider whatever, what help he thinks he might need for me. And 
I know he wants to put something on the record. Okay. All right. And so you'll be appointed as standby yes. counsel then. Yeah, I've, I've kind of explained my role and what that means and how I can help them with something as simple as e-filing or that type okay. of thing. So. All right. Uh, we're going to go back on the record in 2024 CR 2974 state versus Hector Casanova. Mr. Casanova, if you'll come forward. Yes. All right. So, uh, Mr. Casanova, Mr. Bach is going to be your standby counsel. And that's someone that if you have questions, you can ask him uh, legal questions or what you may have. Thank you for your consideration. All right. Uh, and he informed me you wanted to place something on the record. Yes. For the record, I wanted to make it known that I'm here on special appearance under threat, duress, and coercion. Uh, All right. Who threatening or coerced you to come to court? Uh, the county of Bear, uh, Texas. How so? Uh, well, they, if I don't come here, then warrants will be placed, in which I will be kidnapped and held hostage, and I do not want that. So that's why I'm here under special visit, uh, special appearance, to clarify any misunderstandings and to let it be known where I stand on the record. Okay. Is there anything else? Um. I said everything that needed to be said. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to recall your case in one month. Uh, it's going to be a discovery setting. So that's to make sure that you have all the information that the state has concerning your case. Do you understand? I do understand. All right, Ms. Ferguson, if I can have a 30 day reset for Mr. Casanova. And after you receive all the discovery, then the next setting is going to be a plea deadline date. The state will tender an offer to you at the next setting. And then I'll give you your plea deadline date and you can accept the state's offer, or come to an agreement or not. If you're unable to come to an agreement at that time, it'll be scheduled for jury trial. Thank you, Ms. Boyd. You're welcome. Any other questions? I have no further questions. All right. So Ms. Ferguson is going to give me a date and then uh, you'll sign it. Mr. Bonk will sign it to signify when you're to come back. All right. I appreciate your time. All right. You're welcome. And thank you for dressing appropriately for court. What date, Ms. Ferguson? All right. So we'll be back on July 29th. All right. Once you sign the uh, reset form, you'll be excused. Yes. If something were to come up and I need to maybe reschedule that date, is that a possible thing to you'll come need, up ahead of time? You'll need to speak um, to the court coordinator and they will let you know. I will tell you. The rescheduling of cases. Are you in the hospital? You're not in the hospital. You need to be here. Okay. You understand? So pretty much no excuse. Be here. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think that's our last case for the day. Is that correct? All right. Thank you for coming over, Mr. Bach. Yes, Judge. All right. Well, in the end, it seemed like this guy was more of a lightweight softard, as if he is just uh, learning the ropes and everything like that. I mean, he may not truly believe in what he uh, has been reading. There may be some hope for him yet, but if he continues down this path, then, well, he'll be a lost cause, uh, and he'll end up in jail or prison because... Well, he doesn't know how to navigate the court system. He needs to drop his soft hard ways and just get a lawyer to help him out. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not... Blah 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 You suck! They think they know it all! What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, 
uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the right. property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. Like no, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? You. you know you are not to be on campus. You no. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys. You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.